My name is Jason Chanko and I'm the Applications Marketing Manager for Siglent Technologies North America. In today's video we're going to take a look at the SVA1015X and its internal web browser. This is going to give us complete computer control over the instrument in a very very easy fashion. We're simply going to connect the instrument via a LAN cable, uh, which I have over here to the back, connect it up to our network, and once we have it connected to our network, we're simply going to go to uh, Setup, so we'll go to System, and we'll go to Interface, and we'll take a look at the LAN interface connection information. Now in this particular case I have it set to a static IP address. Uh, here is the IP address as well as the subnet mask, gateway, and MAC information. Uh, you could also go DHCP, which will automatically configure all of the subnet mask, gateway, and IP information if your network is configured to do so. Uh, and then we can hit apply to do that. Um, we're just going to go back, sorry, change that back to uh, 12 and then hit apply. So now we've got our IP address and what we can do once we've, uh, once we have uh, gone over to our computer, now we can remotely connect to the instrument via the web browser. So here we've opened up a new browser window and we're going to type in that IP address that we had from the front panel of the instrument. Once we get that entered, we're going to uh, go to that particular web page. Now this is hosted on the Siglent SVA, so all of this information is being processed by the SVA itself. We can do the LAN configuration. Uh, the most interesting is instrument control though. That's going to give us that front panel view and we're seeing exactly the same image that we saw in the front panel. Uh, we can turn on different traces. We can configure them for clear right. Uh, our max hold in this particular case, we can change the reference level. So basically all of the touchscreen settings that we have on the front panel of the instrument are available to us here from the browser. That means we can control it from anywhere in the world. We can configure the instrument and run everything remotely. We can do all the system configuration. We can change it into a vector network analyzer remotely. So again, all of this is being done via our browser. It allows us complete control over the instrument without installing any special software. We just simply type the IP address in. And also, we have the ability to do a remote firmware upgrade using the ADS files. And we can also retrieve screenshot images. These are downloaded to the computer that you're controlling with. So that could be, again, could have this instrument in Hawaii and we're in Ohio and we're pulling that data straight from Hawaii to Ohio and taking a look at it to share with our colleagues. Uh, so very, very flexible. And also uh, we can expand that if we're doing a classroom setting or projection of this information, we can very easily plug this into a projector and, and run that up to the uh, top in front of the classroom for training, training purposes. So. I hope that you found this tutorial on using the internal web page and the Siglent SVA 1015X useful. If you have any questions, please contact your local Siglent office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.